stage a little bit of the Adelaide Impro Festival. Woo! There they are. Hey. Hello. Hey. Oh, you sound like a whole stadium audience, don't you? Fantastic. Fantastic. Pump it out. Pump it out. Actually, you can help that sound. You can sound like you were that sound. If you put your, hand, put your hands over your mouth like this, just like this. And then just breathe out a really noisy breath. It just goes. There it is, stadium crowd. Can we hear it again? Oh, I just told a funny joke. No, it wasn't as funny as I thought it was. Well, that's, well. that's all right. Uh, we are indeed uh, from the Atlantic Prof Festival. I'm lucky enough to be a guest in these gentlemen's land. Uh, and we do have only the two nights to go. Um, so we're just going to do a couple of things, but it's important when you improvise to uh, risk the hell out of things. So we're going to risk some things now, but your job's going to be easy and safe, um, and especially yours. Could you, could you please come and give us just a hand for a moment? That's lovely, please. <laughs> wow, you guys, you guys are great. Could, could you grab that uh, stool for, for us, Paul? That's wonderful. Just come on stage. What's your name? Alice. Alice. Yes. Alice. What a beautiful name. Um, Alice. Please take a seat. You only have to sit there because, Alice, we, we're going to make your day something special. Alice, um, are you a local Adelaidean? What, what part of Adelaide are you from? Uh, east. From East. From East. And uh, what is it that you do during the day, Alison? Um, I'm a student. You're a student and you work. Yeah. Student and you work. Where do you work? Um, I work in Adelaide Shores, and what's your uh, what, what's your uh, specialty at your studenting? Pa sorry, patisserie. Patisserie, love. Pa patisserie, that's fantastic. Any pets, Alice? Yeah. Oh, good. Two cats, and their names are Vlad and Charisma. Quizmode. Quizmo. Quizmo. Okay, Vlad, Quizmo. Here we go. Uh, now, I'd also, uh, five minutes ago, I met Oscar here. Uh, it's fantastic. So, come on up, Oscar. So, in the light of risk taking, with Oscar just arriving that second, uh, he's going to sit himself down and he will be playing the backing for a little love song we're going to do just for you, Alison. Just Jared and me and you right now. Yeah. It's not weird, don't think about it. No. We're a couple of nice guys after all. There's nothing to fear here, Alison. Excellent. Yeah, sorry. Oh, it's whatever you make it, Oscar. Yeah. Something nice. Something nice and romantic. Alison, are you uh, you a musician yourself? What did you play? I used to play piano clarinet. Wow. Clarinet. Piano Lovely. clarinet. That's fantastic. So if you can do some piano and clarinet on that ditch, that'd be good too. Thanks, Oscar. All right, big round of applause for Oscar as he begins. Oh, wow. You can feel the love in that song already. Second one for me to ride, and I can't wait. 
Ah, uh, thanks, Alison. Oh, thank you, Alison. Fantastic. fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic, uh, Oscar. Yes, I mean, yeah. Yeah, a big round of applause for Oscar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're all buddies now. And if, uh, yeah. and if you see Oscar yeah. down the mall, make sure to hang out, have a listen, maybe check some coins in as well. He is fantastic. That's how it works. Actually, it's notes with Oscars. You just you put notes in. Oh, even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's hard to find the coins at the bottom of your bag. Uh, Let's make it easy for you, the customer. So, we've got one more thing we're going to do to you. You know, it's not all fun and games. It's not all beautiful no. music. No, it's not all stools. Like that. Uh, it's also drama, it's high drama, it's tense, it's real, it's gritty. Um, these guys um, are going to be um, traditional, heterosexual men, conservative men, in their environment. Uh, that's all we know. Good year? 1874. 1874. Yes, marvelous year. Mm, marvelous, marvelous. Couldn't afford it yourself, could you, Roger? Do you have to bring up my losses in the stock exchange? <laughs> Marianne and I are struggling as it is. I don't need you here throwing it in my face. You've got to keep you on your toes, Roger. Got to keep you on your toes. In fact, I have a business proposition for you. You do? You'd let me come into, the, into your company? No. But I would let you set up on your own. I trust you, Roger. Your woes are not your fault. You would trust me? Mm. And invest in me? I would. Roger, you are a member of the club. Look around our proud walls. Faces of men, all whom you can trust. You are one of them. Yes. You are one of us, Roger. We are all men in this club. All faces of men. Yes. Yes. We are close men who who can share our feelings with each other, like men should. We aren't, we aren't living in 1874. Good God, man, this is 1875. And it's a year where men like us can share anything we want with each other. Yes. And there's a little initiation, Roger, that we'd like to demonstrate for you. Yes, anything, anything. Anything? I will do anything to be part of this. Part of these heads. It is my truest dream to have my head up there on the wall alongside theirs. Well, Roger, pay close attention. Would you like to start the company? Um, you see, about that, I, I, I've had some thoughts. Great! He's in! Lovely. All right! So, drama. There is drama. Clearly, tense drama. And the, that drama will continue. Tonight, at the Grace Evelyn Hotel, we have got the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, they are improvised adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Each night we come up with a brand new Sherlock mystery and Sherlock and Dr. Watson set off to solve it. Will there be Irene Adler, Professor Moriarty, perhaps even two men kissing? As you've seen, anything is possible. And it is a fantastic show, tonight and tomorrow only, at the Grace Emily Hotel. Apart from that, we do have one other show on tonight which is called 